During the course of the evening, the party had reached a peak. The Dykes had all assembled in the main conference room. The purpose of the meeting was to reach a decision on what to do with the young dead. Each Dyke had her own ideas of what the initiation test should be. But only one suggestion would be used. A vote was being taken on the suggestions, and the straws were being drawn to see who would carry out the initiation as decided. Dyke had sufficiently mellowed the young Deb for her ordeal. Still not knowing what she was about to undergo, went willingly upstairs with the Dyke. Decision finally being reached, and the dyke to carry out the initiation picked. They all left the room ready and eager to assist if necessary. and the young Deb enter the bedroom and the suspense begins for the dead. The dyke is in no hurry. She is all evening and the Deb has no place to go. At times like this, every dyke is out for herself. She would like to be the first one to initiate this young girl. It would give the dyke great satisfaction if she could be the first to have her. The young Deb, realizing now what they've worked out for her, begins to show fear. She tries to escape. That doesn't work. The dikes are too strong for her, and eventually she's overpowered.
the whole dike will now do her work. The dyke never feels remorse or shame for what she has done. To her, it's another conquest. One to be remembered for a short time and then forgotten. Soon the party will be over and she'll return to the heterosexual world that she so violently rejects. A world that she must constantly be on the guard against. A world and its male inhabitants she must pretend to accept. A world that, if it discovered her true identity, would turn against her and destroy her. The path of a lesbian is truly a hard and lonely one. A few, if any, ever find what they're searching for, true love. Someone that they can love and who will love them. A love that will last them the rest of their natural lives. Not all lesbians are masculine in appearance and personality. Many of them are feminine, married, and have children. Their marriage is a cover-up for their lesbianism. As long as human beings are interested in their own sexual satisfaction, there will always be inverts. The following are some important statistics in the study of lesbianism. The problems of the male and female homosexual are of a complex nature. There are answers to these problems and these answers can only be found through competent medical advice. Society as a whole is responsible for this ever-increasing social problem. It is therefore up to us to be understanding and forthright in our desire to help those in need of it. Lesbians can be cured if they show a strong desire to be cured. They cannot cure themselves entirely. Sound medical treatment and advice is necessary to effect a permanent cure. Medical authorities state that lesbianism is a symptom that affects the personality. Treatment is aimed at changing that personality structure. 